Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. Please invite your friends and uh, join us tonight in this uh, little study. I apologize, the mic have a difficulty, so I was fixing it. Uh, today, our topic is about how Allah knows. I mean, this Allah is really so good. I mean, how He knows? You try to find out always how Allah knows, and you get confused about how much Allah knows. So today we have another uh, what the Muslims claim it is a scientific miracle. Allah knows everything. I mean, we have to face it. Uh, and the reason I chose this uh, topic today about the atmosphere because a Muslim he wrote to me and he says, "How come Allah He knows about the atmosphere?" So I said, "Really, Allah He knows about the atmosphere?" He said, "Yeah." I said, "Okay." Let us see if Allah knows really about the atmosphere. All those things we see in the front of us, they are nothing but fictions and lies. But as long this uh, this Muhammadan he chose for us the topic that he believed that Allah spoke about the atmosphere then we have no choice but to talk about the atmosphere uh, always you know when I try to answer Muslims as you know I never use anything have to do with the Christianity or anything else except what Muslims believe so if you believe that the atmosphere is in the Quran then we will see and we will check it out but you better be careful Soon you will be very sorry for what you just said. Muslims want to try to make uh, or fabricate a miracle. Not only they make people not to believe in Islam no more, but they give us a clear proof that Islam cannot be from the true God. Because why somebody would love to lie in order to make his religion look good? I mean, we are talking about people who supposedly they are religious. And the religious people supposedly they are people of decency but not in Islam and this is a clear evidence that Islam is a satanic cult in the front of us we have this article here the earth atmosphere modern science has discovered facts about the atmosphere mentioned in the Quran over 1400 years ago that is in the Quran my friend I mean what you can do that's it face it live with it and here they quote for us verses from the Quran by the sky which is return hmm. by the sky which is return that is the atmosphere chapter 86 verse number 11 hmm. all right let us go to chapter 86 verse number 11 And see if the Muslims are being truthful or they are lying. Uh, this website is owned by the Jordanian government, so sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. The same as the King of Jordan. Well, look like it's not working. Okay, it is a different website. I know what happened. All right, well, it's a Jordanian website. What you expect? Let us see a different thing, something hosted in America but owned by Muslims. Thank God the Muslims don't own the internet, otherwise, nothing will work. So we go to chapter 86, verse number 11. Let us see Ibn Kathir. <clears throat> Ibn Kathir, by the way, he is a lot moderate as a scholar because remember, he came long after, I mean, he's not really an old scholar compared to the others. And all the tafsir of Ibn Kathir is meant to defend Islam, the same as like uh, Ibn Kathir, he was like a Zakir Naik in his time. The difference is, you know, he is uh, he's an Arab, and he is not stupid like uh, Zakir Naik. Not that far. Now, let us see what Ibn Kathir says about the same verse, 
those are dual dimension swearing by the truthfulness of the Quran and the failure of those who oppose it Ibn Abbas says a raja mean the rain guys a raja mean the rain by the sky having the rain the cloud which give rains let us go back to the website oh boy where is the where is the page okay all right in first verse god is swear by the sky and its function of returning without specifying what it is return in the islamic doctrine a divine oath signifies the magnitude this is you see i mean he they just said that it doesn't say it's return what no it does it does a raja is the rain i mean you see how they lie just let it go back this is Ibn Kathir. Ibn Abbas says, a raja means rains. <laughs> so look how they made it from a verse speaking about the rain. They make it about the atmosphere. Can you believe it? So, what what Muhammad is saying that the rain keep coming, keep coming. This is why they call it the Raja. Like uh, it rain, and then later it can rain again, and later it rain again. That's why it's called Raja. Like the the coming back. But the Muslims they try to find the connection between this and the atmosphere. So how we can do it? We have to fabricate our own meaning. And as you see, this is their own scholars, and this is how they understood it for fourteen hundred years. Now, if we go back in the website here they start giving you about the atmosphere and the scale and the graphic and etc and the cycling and the sky cycling of the what is that i mean what is this what does this have to do with allah speaking about the atmosphere and then they quote for us the verse after it the verse after it says <clears throat> It is he who made for you the earth as bed, actually, as bed, which means flat, and the sky as a ceiling. Hmm. Chapter 2, verse number 2. two. Okay, why you did not quote the rest of the verse? Why the Muslim did not quote the rest of the verse? Do you know why? Let me show you why. We will go to the Quran and we'll check it out. I mean, the Muslims, I saw one of them saying that the Christian prince, he don't even read for you the verse before it and the verse after it. My friend, you can read 10 verses after it and 10 verses after, before it and still you cannot answer me. But here the Muslims, they are quoting even the same verse without quoting the verse. They quote a line. Look where they stop. They stop here. Why you quote only this? Why you say, why you, you see why you did not quote the rest, guys? Because that confirmed that this is about the rain. Because they were trying to convince you that the other verse is speaking about the cycling and how the how the atmosphere works. And then we find that this verse they are quoting is speaking about the rain. And that is not suitable for them. So they cut it off. But here, look at this. <coughs> When a Muslim he speak about the atmosphere and he quote for us verses from the Quran why he don't quote for us what the Quran says about the sky let us see what the sky is about but let's see first if they have more verses to debunk before we continue are those the only two verses they have let us see yeah, look like they are the only so from those two verses who speak nothing about the atmosphere they made the atmosphere in the Quran or what they are speaking about they speak about the rain both of them they speak about the rain and we showed you the reference from their own scholars now I want to help the Muslims about the atmosphere 
look like it's not working for them in different website actually the Muslims they have this and here you notice the Muslims they choose different verses to book to talk about the atmosphere isn't it funny the first website we showed you they were quoting for us different verses if you remember here they were quoting for us chapter 86 verse number 11 and chapter 2 verse 22 in this website they are quoting for us chapter 2 verse 29 and chapter 41 verse number 11 and 12 what happened it is he who created everything on earth for you and then he created his you know he directed his attention look at this look at the fabrication his attention up to heaven and arranged it into seven regular heaven he has knowledge of all things okay so chapter 2 verse number 29 speaking about the atmosphere do we have any muslim in the text he agree with that do we have any muslim anyone any muslim here agree with this <coughs> who is a muslim agree with this before we continue we have a muhammad and his name his name is yusuf do you like to call me mr yusuf do you like to call me Okay, let me open my Skype in case you are brave enough to call me, my friend. All right, but be sure you you ask your mom if she it's okay for you to call. Because in Islam, girls at the age of six they are mature, but men at the age of fifty-four still they want to play with kids like Muhammad. They are not mature. So please be sure before you call me. That's your mom. She says okay. Okay. All right, my Skype is open if you like to call me. Any Muslim willing to call me? All right, look like Muslims, they don't dare to call me. We continue. So look here at this fabrication. Do you see how stupid this is the statement here? The Muslims not only they showed us that the Quran is stupid, they proved to us that they are not decent to be trusted ever let us go to the quran chapter 2 verse number 29 and remember here they are saying that chapter 2 verse number 29 and chapter 41 verse number 11 12 is speaking about atmosphere but let us read the article first before we go and jump into conclusion the word heavens which appear in many verses in the quran is used to refer to refer to the sky above the earth as well as the entire universe given this meaning of the word it's seen that the earth is sky or the atmosphere is made of up seven layers this is what the quran is saying or the quran is saying that allah created seven heavens that's it this is all the creation I mean, what, what, what? The, the, I mean, disgusting how they lie. There is no shame. So now, when Allah He says He created seven heavens, He is talking about the atmosphere. The funny, they quoted for us chapter forty-one, verse number eleven and twelve. But look here, chapter forty-one, verse number eleven and twelve. They are not there. They quoted for us the verses really hmm no they did not let us read together and see how we can get them busted if we go to chapter 41 verse number 11 and 12 we will find the following no shame <clears throat> the atmosphere right hmm. okay this is verse number 11 and this is verse number 12 how verse number 11 and 12 they became so short in the website while we see them here there are many lines look at this it's a miracle 
let us change the translation in case you don't like this one we can take a different translation chapter 11 chapter sorry 41 verse number 11 then he went not he directed his attention your liars to the sky which mean he rose up to the sky toward the heaven when it was a smoke so there was no heaven there is no sky and it says to the earth come both of you willingly or unwillingly and then he completed and finished from their creation as seven heavens in two days so the seven heavens are the all heavens and the it is not in the atmosphere and look look what happened in verse number 12 you notice here in verse number 12 they did not show us the rest of the verse did you notice why anyone notice why why did it not quote for us verse number 12 where is verse number 12 they are saying this is number 11 and 12 this is not 11 and 12 what is where is the verse they cut it off they connected two verses and they choose some words from the two verses and they delete the rest because in the same chapter 41 verse number 12 it says that Allah he created in the lowest heaven the stars <laughs> Do you see it? So look at this liars. In order to make this verse about the seven atmosphere, they decided to cut off the verse because the rest of the verse says clearly that we have seven heavens and in the lowest one we have the stars. What do you think, Muslims? Why, why we lie in order to fabricate a miracle? So now a person who do not know anything about the Quran, he will think, okay, well, the Muslims are people telling the truth about the religion. And here we go, they are quoting the Quran for me. He will not go and check the Quran. And they are saying here, chapter 41, verse number 11 and 12, but those are not, this is not verse 11 and 12. Where are they? Where is where it says Allah he put in the lowest heaven the stars? Where is that? I mean, and then look, they start saying, Well, let us count, brother. Atmosphere, stratosphere, manosphere, thermosphere, exorder, seven brother. But the Quran said that Allah created the stars in the lowest level. So if this is about the atmosphere, that means the stars in the lowest level of the atmosphere. So, my friend, can we ever trust a Muslim teaching us about Islam? Only foolish people, they trust Muslims teaching about Islam. And we prove it to you every day. The Quran make it clear that this is about the creation the whole universe the muslims they made it clear that this is about the atmosphere <laughs> and suddenly now we have in the atmosphere we have the stars and here you, by the way you cannot say there was like a, an, an honest mistake because the guy who caught for us a chapter 41 verse number 11 and 12 he cut this part in purpose in order to scam us there's no way he forgot about it. I mean, imagine you are reading a verse and then you stop there and you cut the second part where it says, and we create and we decorated the, the, the lowest heaven with the stars. So they did that in purpose. They knew what they are doing. They are fabricating and they are liars. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim want to say something? Hmm? So here we notice that we have a problem with honesty and dignity. No dignity. Ask yourself always, if Islam is a good religion, 
why the followers of this religion they are lying to us why they are fabricating miracles it doesn't make sense you see uh, uh, I am a Christian I do not need to lie in order to make you to believe in Jesus you believe you don't believe who care I mean this is your business <laughs> light for you for what and why I want to lie what for what is the point hey you know hey! what is that and this is in Skype I got a, a sound of uh... <laughs> that's a funny one <laughs> all right I was wondering where the sound is coming from I think this is an animal was was converting to Islam Any Muslim? Why they lie? And if we continue, I mean, it's it's very embarrassing, very embarrassing. Chapter seven, verse number fifteen. Don't you see how he created the seven heavens in layers? He who created the seven heavens in liars again they add the liars real the liars layers okay but this is about Allah he will live in seven earth and seven heaven the Quran teach there is seven earth and seven heaven the one is trying to call me don't call if you are not a Muslim please is Allah just a name for the Abdul gods or just an Arab word meaning God no Allah is a word Allah is not a word mean God it's a name but it's contained two words it contain two words and we explained that many times if we go look like we have to explain it again and again <clears throat> Don't text me, my friend, in Skype. You can ask the question in the chat in YouTube. So I can focus only in the chat. If you text me in Skype, I will block you. Please be careful. If everybody texts me in Skype, that's endless. Uh, Allah is not a one word. It is two words. It is Al Lah. Al is a word being God in the ancient Hebrew and the ancient Aramaic. This is why, if you go to the name Baal, Baal, the god of fertility, it ends with a Al. Baal. All right. If you go in the Quran, and you look for the three daughters of Allah you will see that their name is al lat al uzza and the manat because it is the death one does not have al uzza <clears throat> my my keyboard have a problem I'm looking for one If you go to chapter 30, uh, sorry, 53, 53, verse number 20, 20, 19 and 20, 
you will see it says haven't you then considered al lat and al uzza uzza is a goddess lat is a goddess lat is a name al is a word meaning god I do not need to call you after screaming. Don't, don't force me to block you. If you have a question, post it in the chat. Actually, I will block you. Now, if somebody, an Arab priest, he used the word Allah because simply they live under the Islamic occupation for 14 centuries. In the Hebrew or in the Aramaic Bible, we don't have Allah. So it doesn't matter who is the donkey he used it. This is a donkey using the word this is a wrong word we should not use but the arab christians they are under the occupation of muslims you know imagine if isis occupy you for one week if they force you to say the name of your god is uh, dudu you will say dudu who dare and this is what happened to those arab christians so we don't believe in allah and we have nothing to do with allah However, those who they are, they, they, they translated the Arabic Bible, they use the word Allah, replacing the word uh, Jehovah or Elohim. Uh, simply, they are not decent, and it is practical, uh, let us say, agenda. Hoping maybe the Muslims will let them alone. They are pra practicing taqiyya, which is filthy lie. We Christian, we should not practice taqiyya. Taqiyya is its mean. You approve lying. So we lie to ourselves and we lie to the Muslims and we say, okay, we believe in Allah. That is a shame. We don't believe in Allah and we have nothing to do with Allah. So if a stupid translator, he translated the, 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 the Bible in Arabic, he used the word Allah instead of Jehovah, then ask yourself, where is the word coming from? We don't have it. All right. Anyway, translation is a translation, right? The same as the Muslims. If you if you go right now and you search in the Quran, you will find the name Isa. But in the English, you find the word Jesus. But there's no Jesus in the whole Quran. There's no Jesus. It's Isa. So the Muslims, they lie in their translation. And those who translated the Bible to Arabic, they lie in their translation. Both are liars. All right? And I call them donkeys. Now, we get the first miracle in the Quran here, busted today. If there is any Muslim feel like he want to give me a call and show me a miracle which we did not or we cannot refute? The word the Abid is coming from the word slave. Usually it's a black slave. So those who want to humiliate themselves, uh, like you know, you say, Abdullah, supposedly you are making yourself equal to a black slave according to that you know mentality and uh, uh, here you are not a slave of anyone except supposedly Allah so you make yourself equal to a black slave all right but the word the abid mean a very dark person man this is a word they use it for the captured slaves from Africa. They are abid as a black and abid as a slave, which means it's a word mean two things at the same time. No, this is not very hard. Uh, anyone who will give false translation, he's a liar. Why well, you are ashamed to say that the truth? Do we have Allah in the Hebrew? No. Do we have Allah in the Aramaic Bible? No. So, where you got me this Allah from? Names should not be translated. Never. 
so you cannot replace the word God with the local word unless it is not a name it is just a word generic word mean God and Allah is not a word mean God it's a name for the God of the Muhammadan which was before them the moon God there's many words for God in Arabic there's Rob uh, there's Ilah 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 simply you see in the old in the old Aramaic and Hebrew the word al was God then by time the word al transform into el so Israel was Israel Mikael was Mikael etc Ishmael was Ishmael all right so all the word used to end with l a l not e not e l and then the new hebrew came and then the a l became e l so emmanuel became emmanuel all right uh so those are words it's a this is a word have nothing to do with the god of the christians or the god of anyone it is just a word used before christianity before judaism it's a word mean God doesn't matter which God you can wish you can even use it for whatever all right so it's a word mean God and uh, depend what you mean by it that God is either true or false all right yeah exactly as you wrote it red Israel yell and by the way, by Il and Al, we were able to discover that Muhammad is a liar. Anyone knows how we know that Muhammad is a liar? If you ask any Muslim, what Ishmael mean? They do not know. Okay, look at this. Jibreel. Okay, what Jibreel mean? They don't know. They think it's one name. The fact is not a name. It's a sentence. But because Muhammad is stealing names from other belief, he added to his own cult, but yet he cannot tell them what this is mean. Israel, what Israel mean? They do not know. They don't know. What Allah mean? They don't know. What Mikael mean? They don't know. What Abraham mean? They don't know. <laughs> they don't know. For all those names are a theft. And when you are a thief, you know nothing. You don't know you're good like imagine uh, you ha uh, you are a thief you stole a bicycle or you bought a bicycle store in one and the police stop you says where do you get this bicycle I don't know how much the bicycle I don't know so it is a, a theft and this is why they know nothing what Maryam mean look all the names what Maryam mean they don't know what Isa mean? They don't know. They don't know. They know nothing. For all of this cult is a collection of theft. Same time, remember uh, the Muslim they say Allah have 99, 99 names, correct? Okay, nine, none of them is ill. So why, why Jibreel? <laughs> this is the Jibra. The one who belong to Eel, but the 99 names of Allah, none of them is Eel. So how does this guy Jibreel belong to Allah? Israel, Mikael, Israfil. Those that belong to the God Eel. Okay, who is Eel? There is nothing in Islam Eel. We go back to that to topic. And by the way, I have a my left ear, I have infection. I look like I took a shower and it's blocked by water. You know, so I uh, I hope this is, will go soon. I will read Quran today because uh, Quran is very good for plumbing. Do we have any Muslim want to say something to us? Yeah, you should not use the word Allah. Never use the word Allah. 
Allah is our is, is a pagan God you see this is what happened in the in the world of particular correctness nobody is decent nobody want to be truthful now we go to the church and then we find supposedly a priest who want to teach us to be people of God and then he fabricate a word which is a pagan God and he says to us let us worship Allah so you find yourself you go into church to worship Jesus you find yourself ending worshiping the pagan God of Islam that is a shame especially Allah is a word and the name in the same time it's not a word mean God what the Muslim they say when they take they take Shahada they say there's no God but Allah they don't say there's no Allah but Allah because Allah is a name it's not a word mean God all right you open Bible topic everything about in front of us is, is a Bible topic what what you Muslims know about uh, Jesus who is Jesus Jesus is the son of Mary and Mary is the daughter of Amran who is Amran <laughs> I mean your God your God Allah and his prophet Muhammad they did not even have a certificate of a, of a, of a, of two years of study in a nursing house not in a elementary school who is Mary the daughter of Amran who is Amran and then Moses is the is the son of Amran and Aaron is the son of Amran and then we find in the Quran it says that Mary she is the sister of of Aaron <laughs> What's wrong with this God? He can't. He don't even know how to quote names. Omran, who's Omran? Even the name is wrong. Musa's father, his name is not Omran. There is nothing in the Quran and in the Bible is called Omran. Who's Omran? Do we have any Muslim would like to give us a call? Yeah, Shaitan, he urinated in my ears, hmm, as the Prophet said. So everything in this cult is a crazy. It's not right, you know. And look, the Muslim they keep saying to us that your Bible is corrupt. Look what their yellow pages book saying. And when come to them, when come to them. A book which supposedly the Quran from Allah confirming what is with them. So, I mean, what is just a madness cult? The Muslim they say to us, Your book is corrupt, and the Quran confirm what is with us. So, the Quran confirm what is with us, and the Muslim don't confirm what with us. Somebody took too much uh, vodka. How the Quran confirm what with us and the Muslim don't confirm what with us. Do we have any uh, Muslim here? How your Quran saying that the Quran confirm what is with us? Confirming what is with them. So how you Muslim you say to us your Bible brother corrupt brother? How you bring me this Zakir Naik says a brother the top the only book with it reserved by Allah in the Quran and the Bible corrupt. And this guy each time he talk I feel like this guy is going to the bathroom and he have a problem to get it out. He squeeze himself. And it looked like the words is not coming from his mouth; it's coming from different place. So why the Quran say something and you Muslim you say something to us? Hmm? Hello. Which one of you is the truth telling the truth? The Quran, Allah, or you Muslims, or did that, or Zakanayak? Hello. I 
And you know, when Zach and Nike speak, you will find like 10,000 Muslims, their mouth is open like, wow, this guy is so smart, brother. I mean, this guy is unbelievable how smart he is. And I cannot forget when a, when a woman, uh, an Indian woman, she asked him, why in Islam there's no woman, she is a prophet. That is what's, what really, her, I mean, this is a, a shining moment for Zach and Nike. I mean, his intelligence here was shining. He looked at the girl and he said, <clears throat> Uh, sister, first of all, let me confirm to you that in Islam we don't have a woman, he's the prophet, and there is a logical level for them. If a woman to become a prophet, they have to do to do a wudu, and if you do to do a wudu, they have to do a wudu, and they have to pray in the front of the congregation. And if they pray in the front of the congregation, the Muslim they will lose their contention and they will not look at Allah and the believers there, and they will look at her earth. Translation If a Muslim woman she became a prophet. She will pray in the front of the Muslims and she will bend over and the Muslim will look at her ass and they will lose their prayer. And the Muslim like, Allahu Akbar, wow, Allahu Akbar, brother, this guy is so good, brother. That's the reason. The ass of a woman is the what preventing her from being a, a prophet. May Allah ask you. Actually, there's a there's a hadith about a bunch of guys. They came to the caliphate and look supposedly they are decent. <coughs> decent, huh? Between two brackets. They come to the caliphate and they say to him huh we have a homo uh, imam who is praying on us and he is tempting us with his bum read carefully a homo imam look they came to the caliphate this is, must be a big big issue and they say to Uthman you are the chief of all Muslims in general and you see what is befallen you we are led salat by a leader of fitna temptation affection oh my god oh boy a muslims get tempted by a muslim man a true believer is the companion of the prophet they are tempted by the ass of a muslim man and they are complaining that he is tempting them but hold on if they are not a bunch of gays themselves, why they are tempted by an ass of a man? Correct, guys? Those who they are complaining, how a gay imam, he can tempt you unless you are tempted, which means you like it. Are you getting my point? Like if I say this woman is tempting me, it's mean I like, you know, I like women, obviously. I mean, women. So, okay, women. But a man, he is tempting men, all of them. How they get tempted? The Muslims, what he was doing exactly? He was putting his finger in his mouth? Hmm? Well, what, what he was doing exactly? I mean, what is that? The guy is leading the prayer in front of them, bending over, so his ass is tempting them. Why they are looking at his ass? How a bunch of believers, men, can be tempted by a man they can, they, they, they accuse him to be is uh, you know. Any Muslim? Hello. Obviously, they are a bunch of, uh, you know, all of them, they are the same equality. And now they are coming to the caliphate, just trying to say, oh, we are not like that, but they are. And then the caliphate, he says, so what? Do, pray behind him. And then they said, look what they said at the end. Hmm. Because the caliphate, he says, still pray behind him. In our opinion, we should not afford salat behind a feminine person unless there is no alternative. <laughs> so the caliphate, he says, you do it. Hmm? 
You still have to do it. Tempted, don't tempt it, I don't care. You do it. So now, like here, you know, we're trying to understand when the Muslims, they fabricate those scientific miracles in the Quran. Do you think really we are a bunch of fools? I mean, people are laughing at those miracles. Not a single one of them is truthful. And we are here to challenge you to prove to us one of them to be truth or truthful. Just one. I mean, come on, not even one. You have like hundreds. I saw a video, a woman, uh, she was saying that Allah, he spoke about the concrete. <laughs> Satellite dish, concrete, cell phone, spaceship, you name it. All in the Quran, brother. All in the Quran. Any Muslim want to say something? <coughs> Any Muslim want to say something to us? Yeah, spaceship. When you know, when you are, yeah, when you are desperate, you fabricate anything to convert people to your cult. You know, if you go on those website, look at this, all of those straight light, the north, sonic sonic weapons. The Quran spoke about sonic weapon. Oh boy, I don't want to read this one. This is very. Dark energy, soil expansion, uh, not, not what nocturnal animals. I don't even know how to read it. Earthquake, uh, subduction, fault lines, the crow, the moonlight, the rocks cracks, even the rocks cracks in the Quran, fresh water, armor, even this one in the Quran. Hold on. This is in you. I want to see this one. Sorry, guys. I cannot resist this one. Don't you want to see the tank, the armor? Uh, come on, we have we have to see this one. I mean, this is serious here. I like Star Trek, and I like I like war, war movies. I want to see this one. This one will convert me to Islam. I did not see this one before. This is a new one. Okay, let's read together. <clears throat> this is the first time I ever I see this. And look, they have a they have a tank for you there. I mean, th this is in the Quran. Like, what's wrong with you people? Hmm. A copper is a com commonly used in an armor person, a high exclusive anti tank heat wear head. Oh, okay, and now they explain to you how the missile work. This is all. And look at this. Look at this. Even they have a graphic how this work. Okay, and what this have to do with the Quran? Oh boy, this is this is in the Quran. يرسل عليكم شواظ من نار ونحا ونحاس فلا تنتصرون. <laughs> he will be bombarded with projector, projector, with fire and copper, and you shall not be victorious. But you liar! This is about shooting the ass of the genie. This is not about an armor. Allah will shoot him by a star. Let us go and read the Quran. I mean, look at this unbelievable. Oh, all right. See how they fabricate what is funny and fiction, which is not even good for cartoon. They make it about science. Here we go. Chapter 55, verse number 35. Read the verse before it. The verse before it explain what he is talking about. The God of Islam claim that a human and genie, they cannot go out of the zone of the earth, which means they cannot leave the earth. And if you try to pass, Allah will shoot your ass, Mr. Genie, by flame and fire, melt them brass. Do you see it? I mean, look, 
they made a graphic about RBG about missiles and they put a tank for us and this is about shooting genie if you try to go out of the earth by a star in different verse in the Quran says the following not by uh, missiles the missiles are stars specifically Sixty five sixty seven five and we indeed and indeed we have adorned the nearest heaven with lamps and we have made the such a lamp as missiles <laughs> to drive away the shaitan so you made a fiction that Allah he shoot the ass of shaitan by a star you make it about tanks This is what Allah is talking about. He is shooting RBG. He is shooting a star. Hmm. Please, let's see. P. Mock the word Allah. Call him all of you until. We are not mocking anyone. We we say the truth. We are not here to mock anyone. We are just sharing the truth. If if uh, if sharing the truth is a mockery, this is your business. We are not mocking. We are just getting liars busted. Look, what is fiction? They make it about tanks, science, degrees. You know, brother, it is a brother. Contrary to popular belief, heat rarely reach about 600 centigrade, brother. What would this have to do with the verse? This verse is about shooting the ass of shaitan if he tried to spy at Allah. Have you ever heard of a shaitan spy at Allah? Yes. And not only that, the, this verse is here, prove Allah to be a false God because Allah, he claimed that nobody can leave the earth and already we are out of the earth. If you try to leave the earth, Allah will shoot your ass by a star. He challenged not only the genie, he challenged the ins, which means the human and genie. So, O assembly, O jinn and mankind, you have no power to pass the zone. Of the sky and the earth, then pass. And how do Muslims explain that? They say nobody can go to the heaven except by the will of Allah, and this is only for angels and prophets. Yeah, the shaitan they, they spy at Allah. You know, like the, you know what happened in the like Trump and the Russian, you know. But don't tell that to the Democrat because now they will accuse him that he is working with the genie too. Like they will add to the Russian story the genie. Uh, in the Quran, the Quran made it clear <clears throat> that Shaitan he tried to spy at Allah. Right? And by the way, this is proving to be true. Hmm. True story. Chapter 15, verse number 18. It says the following: Except the devil, except the devil, brother. Who try to steal hearing from the sky? So when the devil he tried to steal hearing from the from the sky, Allah shoot his ass. Hmm. Any Muslim have a comment? So what is fiction about shooting? Uh, and by the way, why you need to shoot, shoot shaitan? Who Muhammad he said he's sleeping our nose by a star. I mean to kill a mosquito, you need a star. How shaitan sleep in our nose, go inside the anus of the Muslims, and yet we need a star to shoot him. Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> Isn't it Muhammad says don't do yawn because shaitan he jump in your in your opening in your mouth? Which by the way proving to be truth. I mean absolutely proving, I mean science. 
all of those things is is uh, is a uh, scientifically uh, accu accurate Muhammad look what Muhammad said the messenger of Allah said the sneeze is from Allah you <laughs> okay 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 Pumba, take it easy my friend the sneeze is from Allah and the yawning from shaitan so now we have definition if you ever have called this is from Allah Not only that, Muhammad, he says, Allah, he loves sneezing. He loved those who sneeze, actually, to be more accurate. And yawning is from shaitan. This is, by the way, proven to be scientifically accurate. And then Muhammad, he says, so when one of you yawn, let him cover his mouth. And by the way, I saw an article about this part. Look what the Muslims, they do. Allow me, please. Allow me to do something here. Can you allow me to do something? Please. Okay, let us do this. <clears throat> the Muslims, <clears throat> they deleted all those lines when they wrote the article. And they kept only this part. So all this part here is deleted. So they let only from this whole art, the whole hadith, only those lines. So when one of you yawn, let him cover his mouth with his hand and the article title as I remember it was the prophet teaching us how to fight bacteria how to fight what bacteria so the prophet here was teaching you how to fight bacteria how to how, how to stop spreading disease really the story is about shaitan jumping inside your mouth and he will laugh at you like you start you start yawning <laughs> <laughs> it's what they, all, they make it about science they delete everything and they keep only this line and when you read this line okay the prophet says when one of you do yawn cover his mouth eh, sound good but they will not show you the rest the rest is and this is the truth here so one of you yawns let him cover his mouth with his hand for when he says ah ah shaitan Love uh, from inside his hole. <laughs> I'm laughing now. The shaitan is inside my mouth now. I mean, do you see how they fabricate? The guy, he says, cover your hand for a reason. They make it for a different reason. Unbelievable. No, but there is many naive, you know, Western American. They see, you know, they are reading an article. They don't know. They they can fool them. There is many people get fooled. My friend, deception, deception is nothing new. Deception. Uh, there is people they they live like kings, on based on deception. That's all. There is things you do in your life every day, because people they fool you. They make you buy things you do not need. You lose your money. Somebody else gets get rich. They make you uh, 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 eat something you do not need to eat. Go somewhere you do not need to go. All is based on deception. So controlling the mind is an old game. Evil people, they do it. Always. This is nothing new. It's not only about religion. It can be about many things. How we can control the mind of a human being. You see, all countries, they have special departments, intelligence department. And those departments, they make a study and research about how to control the mind. How to control the mind. Which means we can make election happen and we make somebody win by controlling the mind of people. We don't, we don't go and vote for you. No, we make you vote as we want you to vote. Without holding your hand, without telling you even what to say. 
so uh, uh, satanic uh, uh, methods is adopted by, even by science to control the mind of a human being you see most of the commercial you see in TV those are not just commercial most of them they try to control your mind to make a purchasing how many women they buy brand purse why because they control your mind but that if you don't wear a brand you are not good you aren't qualified like others you are not good enough so the poor you they control you and then you go you work like a donkey to buy a shoe for a couple of hundreds of dollars which not did not even cost them ten dollars and you buy a purse which cost you two thousand dollars but it did not cost them even the price of the plastic in the back that is a mind control and how many in this earth are under the control of others islam is the same demonic evil trying to control your mind and many of us we are naive we are decent you know the problem sometimes decency have a price that somebody else can use you. you so the Bible says be decent be like peaceful like like uh, like the dove but be smart like the snake be wise when the Muslims they made those articles they knew between those there's many naive and we can fool them and this is what we are doing here we are trying to fight your you know uh, your ignorance about this cult so nobody can fool you and by the way as I said this is not only in religion this is happening in everything uh, the face on the moon and the face of Allah I'm trying to follow guys with you in the text but the text is moving fast let us see here face of the moon and face of Allah now we know that the shape what shape he have to comes a moon with a... all right so do we have any Muslim want to say something to us and by the way all cult leaders they share one thing they want your money and they want to sleep with women who follow them all cult leaders Go like right now, you can search in Google. You have the biggest search engine ever exist. You will find all cult leaders with no exception. They sleep with women who believe in them as prophets. And this is exactly what Muhammad did. Muhammad even he made verses claiming that Allah told him any woman she can give herself to the prophet. He made verses that the fifth from every attack is for Muhammad. The best of the booty is for Muhammad. And not only that, things went so far that the Muslims, they wrote in their books that if the Prophet, his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her immediately. So the Prophet, he can have her. <clears throat> that is a mind control. The evil of this man, he make you believe that if you give your wife to the Prophet, you will get a blessing from Allah. If you give him your money, you will go to heaven imagine the Quran like this is a chapter 33 verse number 50 where it says all those women they can sleep with Muhammad all of those look at this look at this long list long list <laughs> Muhammad already have 13 wives when he made this verse why you need more and then Muhammad <clears throat> he go far with his madness that you cannot if you want to go to Allah heaven will give him a loan I mean have you ever heard of God he need a loan and if you give Allah a loan Allah will double it for you and he will forgive your sin chapter 64 verse number 17 
isn't it obvious that this guy is a scam so if you are rich if you are rich you go to heaven you should give Allah give give Muhammad the money okay you have a, you have a corner lot in the heaven and actually Muhammad he come with many evil things involving money even in crimes as an example I don't know if you heard the news that there's a man who killed a journalist I think in Kuwait and they negotiate with the family of the victim and the family of the victim accepted 33 million dollar blood money this is Islamic so if you are rich you kill somebody and especially if the family of this person is poor and you are powerful a lot of money you go there you listen okay I killed your son you better take the blood money otherwise we will torture you uh, you killed our son take the money or else they take the money and now the guy who killed is a free you can search it right now and you know and this is this is this is Islamic this is very Islamic <clears throat> extremely Islamic blood money you kill somebody you kill your neighbor okay his family they are the inheritance go and says how much money you want we negotiate ten thousand dollars okay this is ten thousand dollars and you are free in the moment as if you killed no one and imagine the guy he killed a journalist in TV famous one and he is rich they paid the family 33 million dollars let me let me search for it hold on everything for sale imagine what this victim in her grave she will say to her family what a shame they sold her out the guy he killed their daughter you take 33 million dollars and you let the killer go I'm searching for the news. To see if we can find it. This is today news, actually. I saw it. Actually, even, even like, you know, you remember Khashoggi? The, the, the guy, the, the terrorist who used to live in USA, work in Washington Post. Here we go. They paid $70 million to his family. 70 million dollars and now the one who killed him they will not be executed they will go free because in Islam if you are killed the one who own your blood is your family if your family accept money the killer is free Yeah, this is very Islamic. You see, this is, you, this is the hate in front of you. I'm not making things up. As you know, I never say something without proof. Muhammad, he said it clearly, a Muslim will not be killed for king, non-Muslim. So if a Muslim, he killed you, he will not be killed. And this is why Muslims do not believe in equality, which you are not equal to Muslims. You are like a cow. So in Iran, if a, if a Muslim, he killed a Christian, he have to pay to his family $500, which is less than the price of a cow. But if he kill a Muslim, then he shall be killed otherwise, unless he made an agreement with the family to accept the blood money, and this is negotiation between them, whatever the money they agree, he is afraid. And you know, if you are a rich person and you have a lot of men, the, the one who can pay $33 million, I mean, can you imagine? The one who can pay $33 million, he can hire how many men to kill the rest of the family? So they can threat them, they can, etc. 
accept the money we will give you or else right yeah and this is not only in, not only in Saudi Arabia no this is in Kuwait in Iran all Islamic countries all Islamic countries this is have nothing to do with the Saudi this is very Islamic all right um, I'm trying to find the news. Yeah, I can find it in in Arabic, but not in English. Yeah, here we go. I found it in the BBC, but in Arabic, not in English. But we can we can use Google Translation. There we go. This is the BBC. This man, he killed this woman. He slaughtered her. And now, oh, what he do? He's free. You can murder as much as you want, as long as you have money. You force the family to accept the money. You know, this guy, he have a tribe, big tribe. They are rich. And those family, obviously, they, can, they are no match. So you threat them. Accept the money or else. And, okay, how much you want? We will give you a lot of money. Just let our son go. And their son will go free. Let me wait for you on the screen. There we go. <clears throat> this is a translation. This is a Google translation. <coughs> he killed this woman. That is Islam, my friend. If you are rich, you can kill as many as you wish. And then you force the poor families to accept the money or else. They accept the money or free. As nothing happened. I mean, he will not even stay for one day in jail. That's it. He paid the money. That's it. He go. Don't call me, my friend, if you are a Christian. Don't force me to block you. Don't call me unless you are a Muslim. You just cause yourself to be blocked. So as you see, you know, this cult is really crazy. It's it's uh, uh, justice. And look at Muhammad here. Look at the justice of Muhammad. If a Muslim, he kill a Christian, a Muslim shall not be killed. As simple as that. Why? Because we are not a human for Muhammad. And that is a clear evidence that Muhammad is an evil man. A Muslim should not be killed in retaliation of a murder so if a muslim he kill a muslim he should be killed unless he pay money to his family but if a muslim kill non-muslim christian jew hindus doesn't matter he should not be ever killed that is the justice of the ugly muhammad 
and this is all over you see here Any Muslim want to say we are lying? As you see, we show everything in the screen. Everything we have is in the screen. We don't make things up. Where in the Quran it says, Abraham, he called a star his God? He did not only call him his God, he called the son Akbar. Hada Rabbi, Hada Akbar. So first, Abraham, this is in chapter 6, he saw a star, actually a planet. And then he says, this is my God, this is Akbar. And then when the star disappeared, he says, I don't like the one who disappeared. And then he saw the moon and he says, this is my God. And then when the moon disappeared, he said, I don't like the one disappear. And then he said that he saw the sun and he said, this is my Lord. This is Akbar. And this is what the moon, the, the sun God was called. The moon god is Allah, Akbar is the sun god. So Allah and Akbar is unification, is Tawheed between the moon god and the sun god. This is what Tawheed is, unification between the two gods, Akbar, the sun, and the moon. The sun have sex with the moon, and they have three daughters, Manat and Allat and al Uzza. Any Muslim? If there is just one section in the Quran that's good or believable, my friend, I find the Quran from the first page to the last page is a comedy and stupid. What you can believe about it? You see, even if sometime a liar he might say something truthful, but doesn't make his story acceptable. You know what I mean? Like. As an example, Muhammad, he says, Jesus is born from a virgin. Okay, but still, he's a liar. <laughs> so we cannot say we will take a line. This is what the Muslims do. The Muslims, they, they take a line from the Bible and they try to play with it, and they try to make it fit with their propaganda. No, for us, we reject the whole book. It's a stupid book. All right? Yeah, Akbar, yeah. Um, um, yeah, you know, like uh, you see the Al Makkah, Al Makkah, this is where the, the Al Makkah is coming from, is the temple of the moon god. And the moon god is the ox, is the cow, the male cow. So this is why Muhammad he said, when, uh, let me show you the hadith. Don't pray when the sun rises, for it comes from between the two horns of Shaitan. Look here, there is no translation. <clears throat> but when the sun rises, refrain from the prayer, for it rays from between the horn of the devil. The horn of the devil. Muhammad, he is mixing between things. And Muhammad here, he believed, as the Arab taught him before, that uh, when the sun rises, the sun always rises from between the two horns of the devil. For the sun is riding the devil until the morning. So the devil somehow like, uh, you know, he pushed the sun up and the sun goes in, in the sky. Uh, <clears throat> and if you go in the old mythology, this is why we, we find that the moon too have a horn. 
there's a horn of the devil there's a horn of shaitan of, of the moon the crescent moon the crescent moon is the horn of the moon god and when you see the crescent moon that's mean this is the time of fertility this is the time you should have sex so those who worship Baal you know they believe that when the, the moon is a crescent moon uh, that's because the god of fertility now is having sex you know he's putting his horn up like he is horny <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim want to say something? Yeah, actually, you remind me as long as we're talking about this. The Quran speak about seven earths. Allah, He created seven heavens and seven earth, earths or earth. So when you see the Quran speaking about seven earth, you ask yourself where we can find those seven earth. This is in chapter 17, verse number 44. Seven heavens and the earth is a similar number. Okay, where is the seven earth? Muhammad is speaking about the Greek planets. Let me find them for you. The Greek, the Persian, all the ancient mythology, they have them. Give me a second. <clears throat> all right, we found them. Seven Earth. So there is seven heaven and seven earth. And here we find the seven earth. Those, the planets, by names by the Babylon, the Greek, and the Roman. So Muhammad here is taken from the Greek and from the Babylon and from the ancient, what they believe that there are seven planets and this is the only planet we have. So Muhammad he claimed that Allah he created seven earth and seven planets seven heaven sorry and seven and seven planets seven earths those are earths This is what I I believe he is talking about but in different stories Muhammad he speak too that under the ground there is uh, uh, there is a jail there is a floors for Allah to put the devils and shaitan there as an example uh, Allah he jailed the shaitan in Ramadan like now it's Ramadan all right so according to Allah according to Muhammad shaitan is now in jail so who's who is killing Arabian these days <laughs> if shaitan is in jail so Muhammad he claimed that in Ramadan Allah he put the shaitan in jail under the ground Let us see if we can find the hadith in English All right, let's see. You know, uh, I wish you guys to speak Arabic. That will make it easier for me. But what we can do, we have to look for it in English now. And then we have to collect the translation. Uh, I can't even find that's weird this should be exist in the English website because this is Sahir Bukhari and Sahir Muslim 
All right, here we go. Muhammad, he said, that when Ramadan comes, the gates of the garden are opened, and the gate of the fire are locked, and the shayateen are chained. See it? So, question to the Muslims. As long as shayateen are chained, who is doing the evil these days? Actually, in Ramadan, there's 10 more, you know, the violence goes skyrocketing. The Messenger of Allah said, the first night of the month of Ramadan, the shayateen are shackled, the jinn are restrained, the gates of fire are shut uh, such as no gate among them would be open. The gates of paradise are open such as no gate among them would be closed. Do you see it? Islam is a is a collection of stupid, you know. And the more you read, the more you learn, the more the more the more it's stupid, and the more it's confusing and we strange. Do we have any Muslim feel like you wanna call us? anyone if you remember Muhammad you know when he tell the story about uh, Suleiman uh, Suleiman at the end of the movie he captured shaitan and he put him in, in the chain and he put him inside a rock and he closed the rock by Cooper you remember the shaitan who came and he took his ring when he was in the bathroom he took it from his wife at Jarada. He came to him. He came to her in the look of uh, of a look of uh, Suleiman. So she saw. She thought this is the real Suleiman. He have his face. He have a look. He have his voice. So he took the ring and then he controlled the kingdom because the ring of Suleiman is how Suleiman he can control all the kingdom. This is what kind of uh, religion we are talking about. A religion believe that if you wear a ring, you are the king. So if you watch uh, Harry Potter, hmm? we are not far, very close. The ring. Do you remember the ring? Yeah. The ring of Suleiman, the Lord of the Ring. So Suleiman was the Lord of the Ring, and this magical ring can control anything. And yet the Muslims they made for us articles about science. No, Suleiman, he was not a Captain America. Suleiman in his time was like God on earth because according to Muhammad, he have a flying carpet of 600,000 chairs. All his kingdom fly in the top of the carpet. He have three uh, uh, armies, one from a human, one from genie, and one from birds, which means chicken, ducks, you name it. Uh, uh, he understand the language of the ants. He understand the language of the birds. Uh, I mean, uh, even the Quran says that genie, they die, the shaitan, they die for him to get him jewelry so he can get rich and richer and richer. Hmm? I mean, this is in the Quran. This is not like hadith. They can say, oh, this is weak and this is strong. Chapter 38, verse number 37. In verse number 36, it's speaking about his flying carpet. So the flying carpet, he controlled the wind. He have a carpet which fit for hundreds of thousands of people on top of it and all his animals, all his kingship equipment. And then he ordered the wind to carry the carpet and he fly a distance of one month. And then uh, he have control of over the, the, the shaitan, the satans. And what they do for him, they dive and they, uh, 
uh, they build they build for him palaces you know this is Quran this is not hadith they can't say we are you know and some of them here we go you see here the same and some of them they are in chains so Suleiman he have some genies working for him some genies are diving some genies are building and not only that not only they build for him they build and even they decorate his buildings with the statues but all of us we knew Muslims they claim that Allah he forbid his statues so how how uh, Suleiman is a prophet of Allah and they uh, built for him uh, you know palaces with the statues look see here the the translation the word statues disappear but in Arabic it says Tamathil if you change right away if what what uh, what images images passes change the translator look we just change the translation statues see so it's a it's a you know it's a fiction book full of stories and flying carpets and then how how the wives of Suleiman they find out uh, that this is not their husband because the shaitan he's so good in sex you know he can sleep with all of them non-stop so the wives they were like what happened to our husband and they told the elder that our husband he is his private part is like a drill machine never sleep so they became suspicious about him and this is how shaitan was busted and if you read the verse after it actually you will see here it says even when Suleiman he passed away anyone remember the story Suleiman he passed away standing holding his staff all his kingdom did not notice that he is dead for almost a year why because he's holding his staff hello and then how they notice the ants the termite they ate his staff and the staff broke and then he fell down and this is why this is a miracle from Allah so the man he died before time look like Allah is not in control of the timing so Allah don't want them to know that he's dead so what he did he made him die when he is standing so nobody noticed that his imagine you have people that are coming to your room talking are coming out and standing why because you are holding your staff but you are dead and then the termite they are eating the staff and then after like whatever you 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 fell down and this is why how they notice that you are dead and this is a chapter 34 verse number 14 let us see if this website work now eh, website from Jordan will never work as usual forget it <laughs> nothing work in this can in those countries <clears throat> Okay, here we go. <clears throat> this is Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. Let us read for you. Let us see if we can zoom in the text. Uh, I don't know if the text coming to you for you guys is clear. Is it good? Can you read it or no, you cannot? Can you read? All right. Nothing informed them, the jinn, of his death except the little worm of earth which kept slowly gnawing away his stick. So when he fell down, the jinn saw clearly that he had uh, 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 known the unseen. What well, I mean, that's stupid. The termite, the termite, they ate his stick. And this is why they did not notice that he is dead. Right. 
Have you ever heard of a stripper? This is this is Islam. So the guy was dead, and he was standing, and nobody noticed that he is dead. His wives he talked to him; he don't answer. Nobody noticed. His ministers, his soldiers, nobody noticed. He's not eating; nobody noticed. <laughs> How they notice when the staff was eaten by the termite. True story. This is, must be a true story. I mean, we have to face it. And you know, the funny, we show them in the screen what is in their books. They say, still, they say to me, you are a liar. I mean, this is your website. This is a website owned by the Dean Show. You see the TV, the Muslim TV? By this uh, big scam, uh, what his name is, Taste? The one who claimed to be an ex-minister. Uh, uh, this is your website. This is Ibn Kathir. This is not me. <clears throat> What Zach and Nick, he say about this story? I don't know. I never heard him speaking about it, but I can imagine. He can like Zach and Nick always. He get excited with those uh, uh, fiction stories. So I imagine he would say this: Brother Sister, and one of the miracle of the Prophet Suleiman that when he died, brother Allah don't want him to be known, and Allah He made him die telling, and He was holding his stick. And as you know, the stick today it can be made from aluminium, but the stick in the time of the Prophet Suleiman it was made from wood. And the termite, they tried to eat it, but they were eating it slowly because it wasn't treated with chemical. And this is why they could not eat it right away. Because each time the termite they eat from it, they start vomiting because they're chemical. But because still there are a lot of them. So some of them they die, some they start vomiting, and some of them they get sick, but it's still the termite is the termite and they will do what they do. And then at the end of the day, brother, after a few years, they everybody discovered that private man was dead. And thank you, Allah. I mean, the termite, what you can do. Termite, they do what they do. That's what they do. They're termite. <clears throat> Osama, you want to call me? Give me, your, give me your Skype. Give me your Skype, Osama. I will call you. <clears throat> give me your Skype. Give me your Skype before the termite, they eat your Skype or your microphone. Once I was like, this was in chat room, and a Muslim, he told me, uh, I don't have a microphone. I said, can you take the microphone and answer me? He said, I don't have a microphone. I said, take the mic, okay, swear by Allah that you didn't have a microphone. So he took the microphone. He said, I swear by Allah, I don't have a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and people they were dying i mean he was swearing in the text i'm telling you i don't have a microphone i said okay uh, i understand take the mic so we can believe you okay uh, say something that you don't have a mic swear by allah so he took the mic and he said i swear by allah i don't have a microphone <laughs> so we said okay so how we heard you are you using your printer he said what oops oh, okay and he ran away so Usama, are you going to use your microphone or this is like a you want to show your girlfriend that you are a hero? I want to call you, Christian Prince. You're right. Now give me your Skype. What are you waiting for? I I I I I understand. The termite, they ate your microphone. <clears throat> Did the termite eat? You know, Osama, I'm afraid the termite they might eat something else, not only the not only the staff. Be careful, my friend. I mean, especially if you have a wife. Look like the termite they eat anything is uh, you know. So Allah knows what else they will eat. Today they start with the staff of Suleiman, they might end with your uh, uh, I mean microphone. What happened to Osama? Osama was Flooding the text, he wanted to debate me, and now he's dead. 
you are downloading Skype you are downloading Skype is that something will take 10 hours hmm. <clears throat> anyway so I just see you know Islam is a is a collection of uh, fairy tale stories stupidity and you know they want you to believe in this I mean how, how foolish a human being can be to believe in this garbage thank God I don't have termite in my house I come tomorrow I might not find my computer and you guys you will think I'm still alive why because I'm standing and my microphone is open they ate the computer but not the microphone and when they eat the microphone they will notice that I am dead already I mean who can believe in such a story you must what's wrong with you how you can believe in such a story a man is dead and now he is dead standing he dies standing. And the reason he did not fail down because he was holding his staff. Now, uh, who, I mean, who's crazy here? If a person he die, he can stay standing because he's holding his staff. Why his staff is going in his hand or going inside his... Uh, Okay. <coughs> All right, Osama, which one is you? The one from Algeria? <coughs> which one is you? There's many. Put a picture, put something. Morocco, Casablanca. Okay, I search for his name. There's many Osama, the same name. Uh, I got it, my friend, but still, there's many Osama. There's like a hundred of them. Which one? Put a picture in your Skype at least so we can recognize you. Like, put a picture of a staff eaten by termite. What do you think? <clears throat> okay what is your nickname how we will find you but uh, put a picture Aisha Muhammad anything how we recognize you there's many of them Hmm? We are waiting for you, Mr. Osama. I hope the termite will not eat you too. You know, once I was debating a Muslim, and he told me he needs just five minutes to go to the bathroom. That was 10 years ago. Until now, he never came back. And actually, until now, I'm thinking about it. I mean, what happened to this guy? Do you think the termite ate him? He sat in the bathroom, and because he never came back. He was a sheikh. The debate gets so hot and I, I, I barbecued him. So he said, excuse me, I need to go to the bathroom, really. So okay, so maximum five minutes. Okay, no problem. First year, second year, third year, no, more than 10 years actually. Until now, I could not find the guy back. Okay, let's search for you by the email. Let us see if we can find you by email. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, Osama, I found you, my friend. I send you a hi. <coughs> I will call you right away, Mr. Osama. Get ready, please. Hello? Yes, Mr. Osama, how are you? Yo, how are you doing, CP? I'm fine, my friend. How are you doing? 
I'm doing great. Like all people in the chat, they're like, <laughs> they think I'm from uh, I'm Bin Laden or something. But like, I just called you not because I want to debate, but just because I have questions for you because I'm questioning my uh, my 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 current faith. Okay, what 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 made you question your faith? Um, like all the videos you're posting. My videos making you question you should love Islam more, my friend. Look at this cartoon in front of us. It's so good. Yeah. Yeah, I know, the man. And the I've termite, been, like, they are eating the stuff of Suleiman. <laughs> I, I know, man. And like, right. there, there's a bunch of like superstitions and stuff like that. So. Yeah. So, what, what, how can I help you, my friend? Yeah, I just had like question because like my parents, they're like, oh, but uh, we have miracles. For example, like uh, they'll say like Ramadan is like holy because we purify our body and stuff. So that makes me question like, is are those like um uh, activities like really beneficial that's why they exist or are first they of just all, a product first of all of like... ramadan my friend people muslims don't fast if you live in islamic countries you know that in ramadan muslims they eat more food and this is why the price of food goes so crazy yeah okay yeah why because they eat more you see the price of any product is based on the demand the more people they try to buy it's the same same amount we have and then more okay. be, more people like more they want more and more of it and the price go up so ramadan is not really in the month of fasting oh what the muslims they do they switch the day night and the night day this is not fasting yeah they eat like crazy and you know that and you know from your family they even in ramadan they cook the best food yeah correct <laughs> so what is, what is, yeah and uh, yeah, i mean uh, it's it's uh, very funny because ramadan is is the month where every family in the broken Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, I remember. Actually, you know, I, I, I am from the Middle East myself. I remember yeah. how many families, especially from those who they are not uh, worthy, you know, uh, they, you know, there's a tradition and etc. So they have to cook uh, good food, and everything is expensive, and the salary is small. So what they do, they borrow money, they borrow, 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 borrow. So by the end of the month, Ramadan. They borrow a lot of money and they will spend the coming six months just paying for the food they they bought yeah. so ramadan is not a month to purify anything it's the month of violence actually in ramadan the muslim they start you know they go crazy with violence are you there yeah. mm -hmm. i lost you my friend i think you moved your microphone can you hear me hello okay now i hear you but it's slow uh because uh, I'm, I'm in Canada, I'm not like far away from. All right. I don't know if you're in the United States or something. Yeah, I am in. Uh, <clears throat> in North America, yeah. No, I am in uh, Afghanistan next to Brazil. <laughs> but, because like, Muhammad, he knew all the geography. Muhammad is very good in geography, in science, and everything. I mean, the Muslim, they made Muhammad as his God. He know everything. And yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Like, with, she, yeah, I know everything. I've been in this like three years. Yeah, and years, each time so. we check, we find that it's not what they say. It's totally the opposite. And Muhammad was nothing but a fool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what? What else, my? I can help you with my friend. And yeah, it's like you know, CP. Like it's really difficult to like break a, a cult. No, it's not difficult. No, yeah, because like okay. for example, you'll have it like for eleven years. You've been told the same thing. So my friend, it doesn't matter. You, Okay. You accept, I accept, like, for example, your um, what you say right. and what you present in your videos. I'm, I'm like 100%. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. And I, even though I was Muslim, I was watching your videos and I was like, like, I was laughing, like, because you, your facts are so strong. I could not deny them. Like, even if I wanted to deny Christianity, I would, like, be like, I would be like, not good in, in Islam because I, I would know all of the things you say. You understand? Like yeah, all the facts, but you see, it doesn't matter how long you are a Muslim. Uh, it, like, imagine there's somebody he is smoking for 20 years. Mm. So, what we we continue smoking until we have cancer? No, no, yeah, that's so, true. So, you know, it's not uh, uh, 11 years, 20 years, whatever you have, you as a Muslim, since you were a child, 11 years, say you are 21 or 22 now. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, so uh, now you you recognize that this is a stupid cult. So what? I mean, you just uh, throw it away. It's going yeah. to be stupid of you to know it's a stupid, and you decide to be stupid. <laughs> that no, that is really horrible. True. But in, you know, it's going to be ho more horrible than someone who do not know, because now you know. So why you want to stay? Just leave us now. Say I'm out. 
yeah I'll, I'll just like have a last question for you like uh, CP if you don't mind all right um like they, they'll say like today was a very funny because my dad would come up to me and he'd be like uh, today is later later to cut I, I understand what your dad will come to you what and say that you know today is the special night in Ramadan okay no, so, that, that's not true because nobody, yeah. nobody knows which is a special night, the Laylatul Qadr, right? Nobody knows yes, which yes. one. Nobody knows. This is not, Muhammad. He, in the beginning, he says it's in the beginning of the Ramadan. Then he said in the middle of Ramadan, and then he said it's the last day, ten days of the Ramadan. So Muhammad, he have no idea which day is that one. Live with it. And by the way, how one yeah. night, how one night, the night of Al Qadr, is equal to eighty-three years. Yes, yes, that's what he told me that's today. Crazy. crazy. So, so now I am spanking Allah for all my life, and now I'm going to pray to Allah in this night, and that will give me deed of eighty-three years. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know, because uh, in the beginning I was like, "Yo, CP is like saying bullshit. This is crap." And then I, I I watched a lot of your videos, and and you, at the end I was like, "You know what? This guy is actually right. He's not saying stupid things." And I even wanted to call you. Like I sent you a lot of messaging on Instagram. I was like, "Yo, I'm ready to to like leave." And I just have like few yeah, I questions. I don't left. answer in Instagram. Sorry, I don't answer anyone because there are too many people when I text me. You see, yeah. I only even forbid Christians from calling me. I don't know if you witness that, but because if everybody wanna text me, it's endless. So yeah. only Muslims who need help, we we talk to them, and you are one of them. Yeah, I know. So now, yeah. what, did, did you decide to leave Islam or not yet? Uh, yes, yes, that's I'm wonderful. My officially that's out. wonderful. So, uh, 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 your name is Abdullah <laughs> Osman, yeah. Osman, Osman. Okay, Osman. So, you, you decide to leave Islam today. Is that mm. a, is a decision you made now or before you call me? No, no, I made it now. Just I wanted to make sure with you like a few questions left, like right. concerning because my big concern is like you know, everything we do. I th because all those years they'll say like it's it has a purpose like the more you pray the more God forbids but I, I don't think it, I think it's more from the heart you know yeah well Islam you see uh, uh, sometime I ask myself God he created us and he gave us a special kind of uh, gift which is a brain not like uh, animals who they are programmed they are simple you know I mean a dog is a dog you know just give him yeah. something to play with he start jumping a cat is a cat doesn't matter what you do with her still she is a cat a human being is different so how a human being who God gave him a great gift to the point he can go to the moon he can see the stars he can uh, you know create a lot of things how he can believe in such a stupid thing yeah. so uh, a human being uh, we, we were talking about mind control like a human being he reached in a in a in a, in a space where he feel like if he leave this space, he will not be comfortable. You know, like if you are a person, imagine you are a fish. All your life is inside a small aquarium. Yes. The aquarium have light, have uh, you know toys, but you know it's an aquarium. It's not the real thing. Yeah. And because you are afraid from being in the ocean, you decided it's better to be inside the aquarium because you are afraid from freedom. Mm -hmm. It's like somebody he was in jail for a long time, and now you say to him after fifty years in jail, I will let you go. He will say, Where I will go? What? Yeah, you will feel like a bit lost. Yeah, he will be lost, totally lost. You know, actually, mm -hmm. there is there is a uh, there is a, a, a like uh, uh, I don't know if you heard of it. Like somebody he can kidnap maybe a woman. He kidnap her. He jail her for a year, two, three, four, five, and then even if he left the door, she don't run. Yeah, you know. This is a control of the mind because he is used to something and he's afraid from changing it. He is under control. So a Muslim who is under the control of a cult, even if he notice that this cult is a cult, still he will be afraid of the change because the mm -hmm. change is kind of uh, what what this change will bring to me. You know? Yeah, it's it's a bit difficult in the beginning to to have yeah. that change. But the change, my friend, is 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 good, especially if you know that this is wrong. I mean, mm. you see, I, me myself, since I was a teenage, you know, yeah. I, I have a friend who smoke. They give me a cigarette for free. I say no. I, yeah. I never smoke a cigarette, and they ask me, "What's wrong with you? 
try it, etc. I said, why am I try it? I know it's wrong. So yeah. some of us, you know, we try the wrong and we use to the wrong, and then we like the wrong, and then we believe in the wrong, and then we want to convince ourselves that the wrong is the right thing to do, and that is exactly what Islam is. Mm -hmm. No, you're right, CP. Like, uh, well, my friend, like, as long as you left Islam, what about Christianity? What do you think? Uh, yeah, that's what I was. Uh, I was going to ask you. Like, um, mm -hmm. I have a few questions for you, if you don't mind. Like, I don't want like, if you have time sure, for sure. me to, to, have, have, to here, answer I'm my question, my friend. I'm here like, to help um, how do you actually like pray now that you don't do like rakahs all the time? No, no, we don't. You see, in Christianity, uh, those things are nothing to do with God how to pray what to say because prayer is supposedly as a spiritual relationship between you and god correct yes correct. so why you need to do a certain movement i mean you can do whatever you want you want to bow down bow down you want to go down yeah. in your knee go down you want to stand stand you know it's not what you do as a movement it's how decent you are in your prayer you know? yeah like what the benefit of a prayer like muslims they pray for the death of the Jews the death of the kuffar I mean this is evil so you stand you sit down still you are you are even your prayer is evil so it is very silly that we think or to think that God he accept a prayer if we do it in a certain way and if we don't do it in a certain way then he will not accept it it's mm -hmm. like a, in God in Islam is like a, a government office <laughs> uh, he says to you, "Did you sign this paper from the department behind?" The... No, sir. That not... okay. Don't go downstairs. Go to the second floor. Ask for a guy. His name is Abdul Muhammad. Let him sign it for you. And then you go to the second room, the secretary, and let him put a number for it. And then go to the third room. And this is not God. Yeah. God is a person who is Almighty. He know what is in my heart. He don't care about my move. Mm -hmm. So you bow down, you stand up. Who care? What he care for? How truthful you are? Yes. You know this is why Jesus he said, it's not what make you know like uh, it's it's not uh, what what you eat make you dirty. It's not what go and inside your mouth. It's what come from your mouth. Mm -hmm. So it's not yeah. teach you the opposite. It is it is what go inside your mouth make you dirty. Okay, you know, yeah, no, that, that, that's and right. here you see clear the, the wisdom of, of Christ. This is true, it's not what go inside your mouth make you dirty, it's what come from your mouth that makes you uh... because if you if you eat uh, whatever you know and you speak good, that's what people want from you. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we are not clean. I mean, uh, uh, you see, every sink, even if you take a shower all day long, you are sweating every second in your life. If you don't sweat, actually, that's mean you are dead, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and you have a bad smell inside you. You have gas. You have dirt. You have poo poo. I mean, so how you can wash yourself? I mean, this is just a, it, you know, it's not really, it's not real. But I can accept <clears throat> that we, when we speak to God, we should, uh, you know, I mean, okay, you want to go to to meet a friend, and or you go to a wedding party, you dress the best of your clothes. All right. You, yeah. you get it clean okay so what about seeing God so when we see God we should not be dirty and filthy and we should not be dirty anyway we yeah. always be clean so this is not about just seeing God this we should be always a clean How, however clean in a spiritual way is not what you eat it is what you do and what you say and uh, is it also what you believe inside you? Like, what do you think? For sure, because what you say should be about, you see, this is what Jesus said. It's not what you, what go inside your mouth, what come from your mouth. And what come from your mouth is what is, what, what, who are you? Uh, mm. If you, if what you, from your mouth come is a lie, it's mean you are a liar. If what yeah, from true. your mouth is a, is a, is a truth, it's mean you are truthful. So it's your mouth, you know, make you who you are. And for sure, your mouth will come with an action, an act you do, uh, things you 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 behave, uh, your belief, everything. <clears throat> yeah. So Christianity um, is totally different from Islam. We, we we don't have anything really to share, you know. Yeah. Muhammad he he focuses in silly stuff because he don't want you to focus in the important things. 
Because okay, yeah. I would hear like all the time, you know, from when you go to mosques and you assist to like what they, they preach, um, they'll say like, oh, we're better because you see Christians don't even pray. We pray five times a day and they'll be That's proud of that. Actually, nobody pray as much as the Christians because we as a Christians, we pray every second, every step. If you are a Christian, you pray whatever you do, you know, but we don't. Yeah. Jesus says when you pray, go to your closet and don't be like the hypocrites. So Jesus, he forbid us from telling and speaking about our prayer you see i never said hey guys i'm going to go to pray now because mm -hmm. this is something private and the messiah he was aware of the jews at that time who pray in the corners okay don't yeah. be like the hypocrite this is exactly what the muslims they do yeah you see them like in the street and everything. not only in the street i mean you see the taxi driver he put uh, uh <laughs> he put uh, he, he, he go in the top of the taxi and he everybody from far away want to see him now because mm. you know so if you go to matthew chapter 6 it says and when you pray don't pray like the hypocrites this is this is jesus order that we should not do that what the hypocrite do they go he said the hypocrite who's standing in a synagogue and on the street and you know because and the corner of the street not only in the corner because in the corner of the street like this is street can see you and that street can see you so you can get mm -hmm. the maximum right so don't be like them so christians pray absolutely we pray but we are not we are we even ordered not to be hypocrite yeah islam is so, about hypocrisy so a christian would be praying like uh, every time of the day like he'd wake up and be my grateful friend, to god and... i don't like to tell about myself but before i start my show i pray okay you know i i, I eat i pray yeah. But I'm not going to tell my people what I say. This is private between me and my Lord. I drive yes. my car. I drive my car. I turn the key. I pray. All right. Okay. I say like, okay, Lord. I open the door of my car. I mention the name of the Lord. But this is not. This is. I'm not telling you this because I never said that to anyone. And nobody heard from all those who hear me uh, yeah. what I do because we, we are not allowed to brag about. Uh, and you know, if I pray, still doesn't make you a good man. Because what if I pray, but I do okay? I say okay, God, etc. And then after two minutes, I do something wrong. You know, so yeah. prayer does not prove that you are a good person anyway. Mm -hmm. It can be a cover up for a faith you do. You know, yeah, that's true. So you can be a child molester, but you, uh, you know, you okay? I wanna, I wanna be a priest. So now mm -hmm. people they trust me, and I can, uh, you know. And they send their kids to me so I can molest them like Muhammad. But he is a priest, yeah. mostly. I, so, saw, I saw the hadith from your video when he said that um, he married a six year old girl. Yeah. So, what I'm saying, a uniform does not present who you are. Because many yeah. people, Jesus said, be aware of false prophets. Many will come to you in the clothes of a sheep, but in fact, they are wolves. So, prayer, public prayer, can be a uniform, a, a clothes of a sheep. You know, mm -hmm. just to make you believe in something, to make you believe that okay, this person is a good person. So, so you think they're good, but in reality, yeah, because okay, why why you want to why you are praying in front of me to show me? I mean, what 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 are you trying to do? This is between you and your God. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a show time. So actually, let me let me get you the verse from uh, 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 from 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 the Bible. So okay. you see what Jesus says about that. Yeah, I'm watching. I'm watching the screen right now. Okay, I will show it to you on the screen. Give me a second, and actually, I will play an audio, so people they can see what we are talking about. All right. And after that, CP, if you don't mind, I would just like to ask you a question about, like, you your book about the Quran and science. No problem. Okay. Give me a second, please. Matthew six. Take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth. That thine alms may be in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray, standing in the synagogues, and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, 
when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions, as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Isn't it what the Muslims do? They repeat yeah. the same prayer five times a day? Yes, absolutely. You know, if you read this as if Jesus is speaking about the Muslims. Exactly. They pray in the corner, they repeat, they speak too much about what they did, and the uh, you know the, everything they do is a hypocrisy. Even some of them, they buy stones and they start hitting their forehead to make a, a dark spot in their forehead, which means supposedly they are born down too much. So, yeah, because we uh, when we were young, they would tell us that yeah, if you have it, you go to heaven. So when they say to you, "We pray more than Christians," that's because of their hypocrisy. No, you don't pray more than Christians. What do you know about prayer? You don't fast more than Christians. Christians, you know, we have 40 days fasting before Christmas, 50 days fasting before Easter. That's alone. And there's days in the weeks to fast. So if you calculate the numbers of how many days Christians they fast, if they are practicing, and fasting is not a must, it's a choice. You see, it's not a must because everything should be a choice. Mm -hmm. Anything you do because it's a must, it's mean there's there's no reward for you. Imagine I force you to visit me. You don't yeah, come to see me because you like to see me. You come to see me because I forced you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. So what the point? I reward the person. I reward the person. Let us say I have two sons. One of them he call me every day, and one of them he call me once every year. Yeah. By that, I know they are free. Who want to call me? Who don't want to call me? I know who care for me. I know who don't care for me. But I force both to call me five times a day. How I will know which one of them is the liar? Yeah, you know me. I'm forcing them. You know? Mm -hmm. He says, it's not, it's not, uh, he don't want to force us. He want, he want decent. He don't want hypocrites. So if you give with the right hand, don't show the left hand. If you pray, go to your closet. Don't do what they do. Stand in a synagogue and show everybody that you are pray you know, you're a person who pray. If you pray, go to your room, close your door, pray secretly. Not only he said to pray, he said to pray secretly, which means don't tell everybody, even the house you are in, I'm going to pray secretly. Because yeah. this is something spiritual and this is something private between you and your Lord. And there's no timing for prayer. For God is there all the time. So... What were the? I know you in uh, one of your videos talked about that the Sabians. Do they pick all those things from the Sabians? Sorry again. What from what? Uh, your video about the the Sabians. Sabian, yeah. Yeah. Do they pick all these? Uh, well, the Sabians. The Sabian, They celebrate Ramadan, and they celebrate the moon. You see, if you go in the Quran, the problem is most of people they don't speak. I don't know if you speak Arabic. Do you know Arabic? Yes, yeah, but um, I don't read it very well, but I can read it and I speak like. Uh, yeah, so the Quran, even they say that uh, when when uh, when you read the Quran, as an example, is speaking about Ramadan, and the Quran says Shahru Ramadan, correct? Yeah. Chapter two, verse number one eighty-five. Do you know what Shahr mean? Uh, uh, the month. No. Oh, not even. No. You see, this is a translation. It says the month of Ramadan. The fact the word shahar is a word mean the moon. Okay. Shahar is a moon, even in Hebrew. Okay. I, I, I thought it meant uh, the month. No, yeah. it's it meant a month because the moon is a month too. So, like, how they measure their month by the new moon. <laughs> okay. You know, so by time the word shahar now they use it as a word a month, but in fact yeah. the word shahar. In the time of Muhammad, it was a moon. So when the moon of Ramadan come, why? Because the Sabian they they believe that uh, the moon disappear, and then he appear a new moon will appear in a new town. So what they used to do, they start fasting in this town in Haran, and they go to a new town close to it uh, to welcome the new moon, and that is the end of the fasting month. 
This is why you see in the Quran it says Al Ahilla. Okay. You know what Ahilla? I really don't know. Ahilla is the crescent moon. Okay. The crescent moon, you know. Oh, we we in Moroccan they call the Hilal. Mm -hmm. With that. Chapter two, verse one eighty nine. It says, "Wa yasalunaka an al Ahilla." You see, okay. look what it says here. This is the Muslim translation. Yeah. I ask yeah. thee of the new moon. Al Ahilla is the same word, but in the new, like it's a, uh, you know, the uh, Al Ahilla is is the crescent moon, but supposedly this is a new moon. And actually, here in the translation, even they say the new moon. I don't know if you see my screen. Uh, you you at before you ask him. They ask they ask thee, Muhammad. Of the new moon, do you see it? Uh, maybe uh, I'm at like a verse eight. Be not leave. Okay, okay. Now I see. Maybe there's a delay from your side to yeah, see it. There's a no, there's no delay. Sorry. So here, actually, it's not just a new moon. It is the crescent moon. If we change the translation, let us see. Okay, I see. You zoomed. Like they ask the O of new moon. Yeah, say the new moon. You see? Moon. Yeah, I see it. I will change the translation and you will see this is the crescent moon specifically not the new moon only so the crescent moon is the new moon so the Muslims they start in a certain time and they end in a certain time and that is about the look of the moon why the look of yeah. the moon because it's a new moon the old moon and the new moon so the moon of Ramadan is a different moon let us change the translator this is Hilali Khan let us see uh, Arbery New Moon, this guy, New Moon. Let's see which one is more accurate. Yeah, all of them, they are New Moon here, but it should be the Crescent Moon, not the New Moon. Uh, let us see, Shaker. New moon too. All of them they are coming with the new moon. Let us see. Maybe we'll find one of them is decent. Mm -hmm. Let us see Yusuf Ali. See so Yusuf Ali saying the new moon too. But the correct translation should be the crescent moon, not not this. I'm trying all the translation there. Maybe we'll find someone new moon. Again, <laughs> look like they are copying each other. <laughs> yeah, I think they are not translating. I think they are just copying um, because there is no way all of them they are coming with the same translation. Not even one of them coming with the correct one. Yeah. Here we go. Look at this. This guy. Look what he said. Look how many translation we have to change to come to the correct translation. They ask you, Muhammad, about what? The crescents. Concerning. I wait. I think I'm a bit delayed for you. Hmm. The crescents, yeah. yeah. But how many translation would change to come to the accurate one? And how, if I don't speak Arabic, how I will know which that the, all of them they are liars, you know? So it is a new moon, yes, but it is a, exactly because a new moon. What a new moon? I mean, this is a new moon. It is the crescent moon. So a new moon is a, the crescent moon, not just a moon, and that make a difference. So why you don't say what it is? Because yes, alunaka al ahilla. Simply, Muhammad is saying, what is the ahilla for? Allah He created the crescent moons for a reason. It is yeah. to make the time for people to pray and to do Hajj and to do fasting. So this is what the duty of the uh, crescent moon. So Muhammad He have. Uh, uh, he is copying from the Sabian their belief that the crescent moon is a new moon. So he disappeared here, he appeared there. Yeah, I see. Uh... Yeah. Actually, if you go, there is a videos on YouTube. You can watch yeah. how the Sabian they do evolution, and you will see Muhammad. He do exactly like the Sabian. Yeah, exactly. I saw. I saw the video, and that really made me like. I was like, what the hell is happening here? Yeah, he copied exactly from the Sabian. He, the same way the Sabian they do, exactly. 
you know. And not only that, one of my Christian friends showed me. Not only that, you see, but the there is the Sabian, the Christians, John the Baptist. Uh, they they were practicing baptism. Baptism. So the Sabian they have their own baptism. The Christian they have their own baptism. Muhammad, he did not take baptism of the Christians. He took what it's called Sibara. What Sibara? Sibara is the baptism of the Sabian. This is what they call it. They don't call it baptism. They call it Sibara. If you go in the Quran, you will find Muhammad even saying that the one, the best one who do baptism is Allah, for Allah is a Sabian. Allah is the God of the Sabian. Okay. That's just um, I'm reading the screen at the same time, so I will try to find the verse. All, all roads take us to Rome, my friend. Islam is false. <laughs> you know. Yeah. You will notice that this conversation is English, will take us forever. Chapter 2, verse 138, it says, Our Sibara, and the Muslim, the between the two bracket, our religion. But this is false. This is Sibara, is a baptism. And look at the translation, how horrible. Our Sibara. Let us change the translator and see how things will change. This is Al, what his name? I don't know. Let us go to Hilali. He's already saying the same, okay. Let us see uh, Big Tal. Yeah, you see, this is the problem with Muslims. You have you have to play the game they play of translation. Mm -hmm. Look, you see what the word Sibara turned to be? Coloring. Coloring. Do you see it? Yeah, we take our color from. Yeah, but why they are saying coloring? Because the stupid translators didn't know that sibra and sibara is something have to do with the uh, sabi and baptism. This is what they call it. So when somebody get baptized according to the sabian, he had a new coloring, a new color. He is a new person. But by color, not by uh, not like the Christian spiritual thing. So a new coloring, and the new coloring is uh, is like you know you put something uh, close in the water, and you add color to it, yeah. And then you will have a new color, and that is the color of the God. So Muhammad here he copied from the Sabian, and in different translation you will see even they say baptism. Just change the translator, you will see the word coloring change to bat the baptism. It is seen Sahih International. And say, ours is the religion of Allah. <laughs> Look at translation. <laughs> I mean, this translation is funny. Uh, unbelievable. What? Look at the translation. I mean, it's horrible. You have to flip all over to find a translation which can be decent. Unbelievable. Color. <laughs> color. It is not color. It is baptism, but the baptism of the Sabian. Let us see. Uh, uh, did we try Bictal? I don't know. Is it trans really try ch changing? Let us see. I mean, I think all of them they copy each other. Nobody want to use his brain, or I don't know even <laughs> if they speak Arabic. Here we go. Look at this guy. See, suddenly it changed. It's our baptism. The baptism of Allah, and who can do better baptism than Allah? Do you see it? Yeah. yeah. Receive the baptism of Allah, and who is better than Allah in baptism yeah, and Hindu history? But Muhammad never practiced baptism, so how that can work? So what Muhammad, he claimed, because he is in the beginning, he was a Sabian. He claimed that Muslims, they do not need baptism by water. 
for Allah he baptized you and the reason mm -hmm. Muhammad he come with this uh, fabrication because he claim uh, uh, whatever he claim I mean nobody can challenge him same time he didn't know how to do it I mean this is something the Sabi and they do and uh, he don't practice it he do not know what it is but he knew the Sabi and they do baptism so Muhammad he come he have to come with something similar so he said okay we have baptism too but we have the baptism of Allah and because so he would just take things of other people copy from everybody and because he is a person who live in the desert which water is not all over where he's going to do baptism to you Sorry. so there's no river there's nothing so okay the baptism is baptism of Allah take it short no mm -hmm. yeah. so, so, so what do you think Osman about accepting Christianity yeah I I, I think I'm uh... I'm absolutely uh, accepting. So you accept the Lord, the Messiah, as your Lord? Yes. All right, that's wonderful. I'm really happy for you, my friend. Thank you. But do you really believe, or you're just saying that? No, I, I really do. Like, I, I, I was, I'm not calling you, like, the first time. I, I, I was watching your videos a long time ago. So you believe it actually, your, it actually you took me a while to consider this. everything, and I was already accepting. I just wanted to call to just talk with you that's wonderful my friend because remember Christianity is not the same as uh, the cult of Islam you know you say Shahada and that's it you cannot fool God you cannot you cannot fool you cannot bribe you cannot lie to God so mm -hmm. never say I believe unless you believe yeah. don't say I believe to make somebody somebody happy don't say believe I believe just to make yourself happy yeah. just say what you believe because you cannot even now you say are you believe in Jesus if you don't believe still you are not a really a believer I'm just telling you you know so you really believe from your heart that the Messiah Christ is your Savior do you really believe from all your heart that the Messiah is your personal Savior yeah I really do believe it uh, and, I mean do you believe in that in the Father the Son the Holy Spirit one God Yes. Do you believe in the death of the Messiah and his resurrection? Yes, because he like proved all of our sins. Do you believe that he is coming back? Uh, yeah, at the end of the our, our days. Well, my friend, your Lord, your Savior, he will be happy to have you. And the, the Bible says, a happiness will be in the kingdom of God. Rejoice will be in the kingdom of God for one soul is coming back to him. So I'm really happy to have you today, and everybody, you. everybody, all the Christians there, they are so happy to see that uh, Osman, he left Islam and he decided to accept the Messiah. Do you have any questions about Christianity right now? Uh, yes. What's your um, like? I know I'm going to read like even more to understand, but uh, uh, what's your thought, um, CP, on uh, death? Sorry, is that again? Uh, what's the, what's your thought on the death? What happens like because you know in Islam it's like paradise and you get the, uh, like rewards and stuff. But I know it's for like that. Oh, you mean after death, like in heaven, what we will have as a reward? Yes, yes. With, no, with, like uh, what, what, what will happen? Yeah, the Messiah he says he and she they will not get married, which means there's no sexual relationship in heaven, mm -hmm. for we will be the same as angels. And you know, always when you read the words of the Messiah, you have to think deep. Don't just take it from uh, like a as words and that's it so when he say because they will be the same as angels you see what angels about angels are creatures made of light they have no needs no food they don't get tired they don't get sick they are happy and then uh, we will be the first thing the Lord he grant us our freedom we will be the same as angels in Islam is the opposite you will be addicted to sex addicted to food and you, you used to have sex once maybe a day or every two or a week in the earth or in the heaven of Allah 24 hours seven days a week having sex you used to eat a little bit in the earth in the heaven of Allah you are doing nothing but eating and sex and he promised you bracelet gold silver all of this is satanic Christianity promising you happiness which nobody can describe for it's have nothing to do with gold you see anything physical is temporary sex mm. is something temporary so you might get uh, uh, a pleasure for some time but still it is temporary 
if God is the one who created whatever happiness we have can God create something better what do you think something better than what we have on better earth? than we have on earth for sure he can right yeah yeah so why why the Quran limited to, to, to sex and food and sandwich and birds what is that so God who created us he can grant us happiness which we never saw like before since mm -hmm. when happiness is about the food we eat so if God he created little tiny cells in our tongue which is connected to our brain to make us taste and enjoy food can God make us taste different kind of joy have nothing to do with food absolutely he can so Christianity does not focus in the belly and the stomach and the private part Christianity focus in different kind of happiness because you will be the same as angel your happiness is noble your your happiness is high your 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 happiness fit with the house you live in which is the house of God so because we will be with God and the Lord he will be with us our rejoice will be from his rejoice so something you cannot explain and you cannot um, give example of it because yeah. it's beyond uh, 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 what we can explain so what Christianity is about is not about God will give me a bracelet like the Quran or a couch or a pillow which is very silly Christianity is about being with God alone is a new life just being there because you will be a new creature a new creation you will be a different person so Islam describe happiness based on a garden a bunch of guys sitting with women having sex drinking wine river of wine I mean even wine is river not in not in not in Baal no more so <laughs> uh, 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 it's an extreme temptation of the physical needs not nothing spiritual even Muslims in the heaven they will not even pray there's no prayer Christians in heaven they will be rejoicing with the Lord which means everything they say is the same as a prayer but it's happiness this is something they cannot describe so we cannot really compare between what you will have in the heaven of Muhammad and what we will have in the true heaven of the Messiah for we have nothing to share yeah and you know look if you look at this verse as an example chapter 18 verse number 31 Allah promised you that in the garden uh, you will have the bracelet from gold and you will wear a green garment made in Iran in Persia I mean what kind of yeah. God this God is <laughs> I will go shopping to the mall and come back with those right now <laughs> I can get the bracelet from gold I can get a green garment from silk I will order from Amazon take it take me 24 hours to have it and a couch even couch even pillows you know so mm -hmm. Uh, we cannot compare you see when you believe in the Messiah forget everything you learn about Muhammad it's just a stupid cult happiness yeah. happiness in Christianity is different happiness God in Christianity is different God decency is different decency you see when Muhammad he says uh, adultery is forbidden but then he allowed you to change your wives every few days even the same day you can divorce as many as you wish and then he mm -hmm. allowed you to do muta and then I mean where is this and say you say there's no adultery but yet you are you you what he did he just gave adultery different names to legalize it Zawaj yeah. Orfi Zawaj friend all of those they are called Zawaj Zawaj al muta they are they are called marriage but in fact they are not marriage they are just sexual relationship this is why a Muslim man he marry any woman any anyone even doesn't matter who you are because all of him it's just uh, it's just sex it's a it is just sexual there's no marriage in Christianity marriage now you became a Christian I you know I advise you to go to church mm -hmm. and they, you, you should learn the Bible and educate yourself and then when the moment is ready you should do baptism and the reason I say to you you should do baptism because baptism will make you always you know like uh, you just devoted yourself to be Christian baptism is like uh, I now announce myself not only by words by action that I am a new person and the Holy Spirit will be always with you so I advise you to find some Christians friends and uh, if you don't have 
uh, <clears throat> maybe I can find you some in your in where you live and you can go to churches and you can learn the Bible you can read uh, and then when it's time when you feel it's time for you you are ready uh, you should do baptism okay and I wish I am close to you I will do baptism to you by myself and at the end of the day it's not a priest who baptize you it is God himself who baptize you Okay. The, the the Christian who baptized a, a, a new Christian, he is just a witness for the Holy Spirit coming and being with you. So we are just witnesses for an amazing event where you receive the Holy Spirit, which means the Spirit of God, to accompany you to eternity, not only you die. So this is something very important to do, and I encourage you to do it. But as I said, when you are ready, read the Bible, be you know get closer to the lord and when you feel this is it is time to do it but you should do it all right but you are the one who make decision when you should do it yeah all right yes anything else my friend <laughs> um i wanted to ask you on the bed i had one last question because this one is a more funny one because uh, i know you know like a lot of uh you, know, uh, you wrote uh, your book about the, the science and the, the crown. Yeah. And uh, I heard recently from uh, one of my family members that uh, the speed of light was written in the crown in some way. Hmm. And so I, I, I did, thought it I was very funny. So I wanted to know what to, okay. what's your thought on this and what do you know about this? Yeah, I made a video about it just, I think, two days ago, correct, guys? I think two days or three days ago speed of the light so if you watch a previous video if you go to patreon um, maybe two uh, if somebody can remind me if, if somebody can give him the link in the chat please so he can watch it we spoke about this this is a false what speed of light because if the speed of the light is the speed of the angels that would be funny because that means we know where Allah located and if in 1000 light 1000 uh, year uh, we can reach the location of Allah. That's mean Allah is inside the Milky Way. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's really yeah. funny because supposedly Allah is above all the seven heavens. So same time, uh, the Muslims when they try about the speed of light, uh, if the, if this is the speed of the light and Allah is light, that's mean Allah is limited to His speed too. Yeah, isn't it? The Quran says that Allah nuru samawati wal ard. Allah is the light He's a light so if the Quran by the way never spoke about the light speed spoke about the angels going down and going back uh, uh, in a day to Allah equal to 1,000 year for us but that will be a problem for Muhammad why because if Muhammad received the first verse today that's mean the angels in order to give him the second verse they have to come back after 2000 years you know what i mean because yeah, they're going they, to heaven they, coming back one day to yeah. allah is 1000 to us okay wonderful so now in order to go there they need 1000 years to go in order to come back they had need 1000 years to come back that's mean if muhammad receive a message today angel jibreel he should come back to him 2000 years after Okay, yeah. <laughs> this is stupid. Secondly, if the light speed is what is the speed of the angels, then how Muhammad he went to the seven heaven with the angel in one night? Yeah, that doesn't add up. Do you remember the story when Muhammad he went to the seven heaven? With the yeah, with the, the Jibreel? Yeah, Jibreel he took him there. Okay, so uh, uh, when Jibreel he took him. To breed is an angel, and he have the speed of the light. Okay. Yes. So if it take one thousand year to go to Allah, how Muhammad he went with the angel Jibreel, who have a speed of light, which is mean limited speed, in yes. one in eight hours and come back. No. You see here the story in front of us. This is Sahih Bukhari. This is Sahih mm -hmm. Muslim. So Jabril he came, he took him, he washed his chest, he cut his uh, etc. He washed it with Zamzam, and then he took him up to the heaven. He took him to the first gate, second gate, third gate, all seven gates. 
so the speed of light is the angel speed how in eight hours the angel in the speed of light was able to go to the seven heaven to the end of the world and come back <laughs> <laughs> you know go do a little study about how far some galaxies from us and you will laugh at this mm. eight hours is not enough even to pass nothing you know nothing what eight hours of light speed light Muhammad in eight hours he went to the seven heaven to which means to the end of the world not only to our galaxy to the end of the universe where Allah he live where there's the tree of Allah as you see here first gate second gate third gate seven gates so he passed seven heavens and all of those in a few hours it's a stupid mm -hmm. you know and this is the hate I will post it for you in the chat so you can read it later. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm reading when right yeah, you can read it later if you want. Okay, anything else, my friend? Yeah, I think we, we covered everything. You can like, uh, thank you, man. Just like you, keep recording your videos. You can ask me like the chat, and if you have a question, feel free to ask me, no problem. Yeah, but, you know, I'm really happy for you that you decide to leave Islam and to accept the Messiah. And if you have any of your family want to talk to me, even if they don't want to talk in public we can speak in private I do that with many people you know so okay. you, you will not be the first so if you have your parents your mother your father sisters you know you can be with them you can join us in the conversation and uh, I will help them you know I will do my best understanding all right okay and, um, last question this one's a bit more push what, what pushed you to like uh, uh, study I have a degree like you say in your uh, Instagram, get a degree in Islamic law and Sharia law. Well, you know, um, I live between Muslims, and there's nobody, yeah. you know, they, they challenge us, but we do not know what to say. And Christians, they are peaceful people, they are kind of people, like uh, they don't want to hurt the feeling of somebody, and they avoid talking about Islam because it's a violence cult, etc. Uh, for mm. me, I don't really care. Uh, what I care for is getting answers. So I decided to study this cult and uh, I accepted the challenge. Muslims challenged me since I was a kid. And yeah. I accepted the challenge yeah. and I defeated Islam. All right. Well, thank you so much, CP. So I hope, like, um, you know, everyone in the channel, peaceful people, because I don't want to get like messages, you know, how people are. Yeah, don't worry. Let's just ignore people, you know. Yeah. People call me names every day and those are a blessing for you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, those are not, the one who curse you and then for because of Jesus that is a blessing for you this is what Jesus said so when people they curse us discriminate us even they kill us that is going to be for your good not for theirs for this is will be a blessing for you you know yeah. and he and he warned us about this so by accepting his name people they will wage war on you they will be hated by your family by your friends many people will deny you but what is the benefit Jesus said what if the benefit if you won the whole world but you you, you lose yourself so we win ourselves and let us lose the world for the world we will have is better than what we have today yeah all right okay thank you Osman for calling me and may the Lord bless you and I will pray for you today before I before I finish before I, I, I sleep today I will have a special prayer for you and to your family because we as a Christian we should love and you should love your parents you should love your family even if our Muslims never hate them we are not yeah. Muslims remember love the Muslims don't be hateful don't curse them doesn't matter yes they are lost and this is why actually we should even love them so we can be uh, let us say uh, the messengers of Christ of love to bring people yeah. to him all right all right thank you my friend God bless you so much CP God bless you take care bye bye all right well I'm glad I added him in the beginning I thought like he's a person who's trying to make fun and he's you know lying to me or etc uh, because he, he want to call me I thought he want to debate me actually but sometime you know we judge uh, don't judge the book by the cover all right so we are happy for Osman for leaving the cult of Islam or Osama sorry Os Osama his name is Osama not Osama so uh, we are happy for Osama for leaving the cult of Islam and I hope more people they will leave more and more 
and I heard that Fadi who was arguing with me a few days ago he is like uh, almost out of Islam are you out of Islam Fadi did you decide to leave Islam Fadi or not yet why you don't call me Fadi what do you think Fadi I invite you today to denounce the devil and to accept the Messiah as your Lord you argue with me you don't believe me but I think it's time for you Fadi to know the truth and the truth will set you free what do you say Fadi anyway call me only if you feel you want to do it but I believe it's time for you to be brave and to make a decision that Islam is not good for you not good for anyone I mean look at this who can prove us wrong Basim Jarrar okay this is the answer of Fadi for me I respect what you are saying Fadi no problem let us share your comment Fadi saying I will call you when I am ready already we spoke together right we spoke I think once or twice I'm trying to call Sheikh Basim Jarrar Basim Jarrar is a, is a, is a, a you know this guy he claimed that he is a big Sheikh but he's a potato and he will never dare even to speak to me and by the way I'm willing to speak to him even in Arabic if he dare you see because he might say I don't speak English no problem let him call me uh, you can ask him about Muhammad being poisoned but about you call him to uh, talk to me I mean <laughs> you sit and watch and see what will happen this guy is Gerard he claimed to be a big shot <laughs> uh, if I get if don't get the answer I think it's the end my friend the answer he will give you is the same answer we showed you before this is how we die he will try to give you excuses the prophet he died as a murderer <laughs> but this is another question why Allah did not save Muhammad from the Jews yet he saved Jesus from the Jews why Allah he says if Muhammad fabricated in our name we will cut his artery and Muhammad die describing his death by cutting off his artery All right so but always the Muslims they try to come with excuses but they cannot it's endless you know it's like a mountains of evidence that Muhammad is a false man call all the scholars you know all of them they are liars You've been in Aqsa and asked many sheikhs, they don't know. They gave me his number. Well, you know, uh, Fadi, as long as you are saying that Muhammad he exposed himself and lie. So you just you just denounce Muhammad. So what are you waiting for? Look what happened to Fadi. A week ago he was upset from me. A week ago, you don't believe me. A week after, he just said, Muhammad clearly lied and exposed himself. What is left? Happy for you, Fadi. You are already out, my friend. You are already out. Well, anyway, you know, this is why our videos are important because sometimes you might, you don't know how many people accept the, you know, I mean, to leave the cult of Islam. You make the videos, people watch it, spread it all over. And then there's millions of people watch it and you have no idea who accepted it, who's not. But I assure you, you see, Muslims, they say to me, why don't show yourself in the screen? Because they don't want me to show you the evidence. If I'm a person just make stage speeches, you know, maybe I will get even more viewers if I am having my camera on me, even though I look scary, but still will bring more people to listen, or even because people like to see somebody in the camera, not the text. But what we do is a lot more powerful than somebody speaking in the camera, because here we are showing proofs and evidence, which nobody can deny. Nobody. None of what I say is from my own. 
none of what I say is from my book it is from your books your translation your website published printed translated by you what do you want more <laughs> what do you want more if this is not enough what what do you want more everything we have in the front of us is published printed given to us paid for it by you Muslims you donate to those website to publish you Muslims you donate for those websites you donate for them to publish and they're publishing make you leave Islam what do you want more anyway guys I want to say thank you for being here I hope we will have more and more people leave Islam like uh, brother Osama it's funny he was a Muslim an hour ago and now I'm calling him brother and I hope Fadi too he will accept the Messiah very soon and already look like he is out of Islam but we are waiting for him to call us and denounce the devil so I want to say thank you for being here may the Lord bless you don't forget please to download the video share it with your friends and if you like to read more you can get my books from Amazon we have my books in many languages Spanish German Dutch Swedish French you name it so get my books read learn educate yourself and for sure I have thousands and thousands and thousands of videos all is for free so everybody can have them so thank you all thank you the Lord thank you our Lord for having uh, 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 Osama today accepting the Messiah uh, thank you uh, for showing him the truth and for us you know it's not me who showed you the truth it's the Lord always he he is presenting and all what he he said you knock at my door I will open for you so today what Osama he did he just knocked at the door of the Lord and he opened the door for him me myself I'm here just to share my knowledge but at the end of the day the one who free you is the Lord himself not a Christian Prince the truth my friend is the Messiah is not just a book and the truth will set you free this is what the Lord said and there's no better wisdom than the wisdom of the Lord so I'm happy for uh, Osama and I hope we will have Osama every day like Osama leaving the cult of Islam with this we pray that the Lord will help us to bring more people so we can be fishermen and women to bring people to Christ and the other day one of you he was laughing in the comment because I said sound like we get a fish well we get a fish my friend we Christians are fishermen and fisherwomen we have a duty to bring people to Christ so they can be saved and this is what I meant by the fish so thank you all for being here Christ is Lord and Islam is false thank you